Duksa is about a poisonous relationship that's in a cycle of breaking up and making up. So if anyone's in this situation, I hope you guys can listen to our song and relate to it. What are you most looking forward to with this new comeback? 음악 방송 1위입니다. Oh. <laughs> also for me, I mean for everyone, I guess also is to get Secret Number's name more out there. I think it's my goal. <laughs> it's our goal. <laughs> and I have to say, you have some of the most dedicated fans I have seen on Twitter because they asked hundreds of questions and I had to go through so many. Um, and yeah, a lot of them had the same ones, um, thankfully, so that, that worked out for me. Um, but do you have any memorable moments from filming the music video for this? <sighs> We actually have so many, but um, one episode I remember is that there's a scene where I'm holding a flower and I had to burn the flower, but my hands also caught on fire. But luckily, I didn't get any. I didn't get burnt. So <laughs> yes. 전 저는 그것도 기억나요. 저희 뮤직비디오 마지막 장면에 이제 수담이 언니하고 다 저희가 나머지 이렇게 잠들어 있는 부분이 있었는데 이게 저희가 뮤직비디오를 이제 24시간째 막 찍고 아침이 된 이후라서 저 실제로 잤거든요 그때. 근데 <웃음> 저 말고 또 언니도 잤다 그러고 진짜 이렇게 잠든 장면이었어요 거기가. 그게 제 기억에 남습니다. I actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to ask about that last scene in the music video where I think it's so dumb. Uh, you're there and the members around you and then all of a sudden they're not. Can you explain to me um, a little bit about that scene and the meaning behind it? 어 저희가 그 뮤직비디오가 이제 영화 아이덴티티를 이제 모티브로 한 뮤직비디오였는데 이제 저희가 사실은 알고 보면 저희 여섯 명이 다 하나의 인격 안에 있는 이제 선과 악들이라는 컨셉을 이제 표현한 장면이었습니다. One thing I think about uh, a lot of your music is you come with really powerful and strong songs, especially your title tracks. So I wanted to see, uh, are you interested in the future going to a different concept at all? I know um, a lot of artists will do a softer concept every once in a while. Is that something you want to do in the future? Um, or do you want to just keep going with the strong, powerful tracks? For us, we usually have a really different um, uh, vibe of title track and also our side track. And so if we do powerful title track, we usually have softer side tracks and vice versa. But the concept that we've never tried before, I think it's like a summer concept. Mm -hmm. So if I would have to pick one concept that I want to try, I think it would be summer concept. Which member, you know, when you're practicing your choreography for these comeback songs, um, which member would you look to to help you out if you're having any difficulties with the choreography? Oh, I want to look for Jinny. Why? I don't know the reason, but I feel like I'm happy. And I look at Jinny with a good eye. 다른 멤버들은 약간 제 눈을 피하는 경우가 많은데 <웃음> 지는 되게 잘 쳐다봐 주고 줘 가지고 찾게 되는 것 같습니다. I feel like um Leia feels this way because I'm usually the only one who's struggling to memorize the choreo. So I'm always like out of the place and I'm like what do I do? I don't know the next move. Like someone help me out. And usually she's looking at me cuz she's <laughs> also struggling as well, so I feel like we're always looking at each other, just just being like, oh, what do we do next? <laughs> like I said, I got a ton of fan questions, so I'm going to get into some of those now, some of the most asked questions from your fans. Um, do you have any pre-show rituals that you do individually or as a group? Our fans probably know this already, but we have our own little chant that we do before we perform oh, and go on stage. It's we always have to do this before we go on stage and then we get all energized. <laughs> they also had a lot of questions about a light stick. If you were going to design a light stick, what do you think you would uh, do for your group? 
It's actually a lot of really good designs that fans made. I'm really impressed, first of all. <laughs> oh. 뭔가 그거 해보고 싶었어요. 그 저희 그별 로고 이렇게 돼 있는 거 응원봉으로 해서 이렇게 동그랗게 해가지고 커스텀도 할수 있게 만들어서 뭔가 이렇게 하면은 되게 예쁠 것 같다는 생각을 했어요. So like I said, you have really dedicated fans online and all across the world. So I wanted to see, are there any memorable fan comments you've seen over the last few years that really stood out to you? 저 있는데요. 저희가 일본에서 그 데뷔를 했을 때 한국에서 일본까지 와주신 팬분이 계신데 그분께서 이제 사진을 전공을 하시나 봐요. 그래서 이제 일본을 저희 덕분에 오게 돼서 사진을 그때 찍었던 일본의 사진을 저한테 보내주셨었어요. 그 메시지도 업로드를 해주시고 근데 그 사진이 좋은 이유가 그 찰나의 순간을 담을 수 있어서 너무 행복하고 그리고 그 찰나의 순간에 피사체가 나를 보고 웃어줄 때 너무 너무 행복하다고 그래서 내가 주는 사랑이 민지한테 있어서 가장 작은 사랑이었으면 좋겠다는 말을 해주셨거든요. 너무 너무 감동이었습니다. <laughs> what is it like as an artist being able to see people from all across the world, all different languages, all these different countries um, support you? Purely just amazing. And the fact that um, even if our music is in Korean, everyone's just vibing together and enjoying their time. and. The fact that we can all connect together is just so amazing and we're always so thankful for that. So you know, there are fans that'll camp out overnight to see their favorite artists perform or favorite groups. You know, they'll camp out for eight hours, 10 hours, 24 hours, whatever they need to do to get up close to see their favorite idol. I wanted to see, are there any artists that you would do that for? <laughs> 이제 빌리아일리시님의 콘서트를 정말 꼭 가보는 게 너무 소원인데 어 정말 기다리라면 일주일도 정말 밤새고 기다릴 수 있을 정도로 너무 너무 가보고 싶습니다. 저 갔다 왔어요. <웃음> 어, <웃음> 진짜 부럽다. <웃음> 와 좋겠다. I want to go to Beyonce's <웃음> concert. I can wait. I can wait, Beyonce 언니. I can wait for you like a long time. Renaissance. I want to see Renaissance so bad. <웃음> Before you debuted officially. Um, were there any goals that you had set for this group? Goals that you were thinking, you know, once we debut, I want to do this. Were there any of those goals made for you before you debuted? 저는 어 다른 건 몰라도 어내 팬이 되실 분들을 기죽이지 말아야겠다. 그리고 나를 응원해 주시는 그 응원 자체가 자랑스러운 일이 되었으면 좋겠다라고 생각을 했습니다. 저는 데뷔 전에 어 제가 꿈이었던 게 멤버들이랑 저의 멤버랑 숙소 생활하는 게 되게 뭔가 꿈이었었어요. 뭔가 나의 팀원들이랑 같이 숙소 생활하면서 지내는 게 뭔가 그때 당시에는 되게 뭔가 부러웠어요. 그런 모습이. 근데 그 꿈을 이뤘습니다. <웃음> How has that been? Has it always been really good and fun, or are there times that you want your own private space too? Oh, 저는 굉장히 재밌게 했어 해 하고 있고 뭔가 어전 친구가 많이 없는데 어쨌든 친구 같은 동생들이 항상 옆에 있으니까 밥 먹을 때도 어디 갈 때도 뭔가 어 누구 만나야 되지 이런 생각도 안 해도 되고 어 저희 가족이 더 생긴 것 같아서 너무 좋습니다. <웃음> If you could tell your pre-debut self anything, something you know now that you wish you knew before you debuted, what would that be? 저는 꼭 해주고 싶은 말 하나 있어요. 제발 긴장 좀 하지 마라. If I see my trainee self, I would just say, just keep going. You're gonna get where you want to be. Oh, so just keep going. You're doing good. It's alright. So now the most asked fan question was, can we expect a tour at some point? Um, if so, if not, you know, where where do you want to go? We've been, because I'm from Indonesia and Lea Anni is from Japan, and we've, we've been to Indonesia and Japan. So now I want to go, like next, I want to go to America. <laughs> and... <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I used to, I used to, I used to live in New York, so I want to visit New York again, and also we want to go to LA because <laughs> there's 
this LA girl right yeah. here. <laughs> what are your goals that you have set for 2023, or what are some of your plans that you hope to get to do? I was to the tap site in the website. I was to the website. So, this year, I <laughs> and then finally, do you have a message to your fans now for this comeback? 우리 보고 계시는 폭스 13을 보고 계신 우리 구독자분들과 팬분들 저희 항상 열심히 예쁜 무대, 멋있는 무대 보여드리려고 노력하고 있으니까요 여러분들도 아프지 마시고 몸 건강히 저희 활동 지켜봐 주셨으면 좋겠습니다 항상 감사하고 너무너무 사랑해요 Thank you.